Hello everybody and welcome to the episode of Juggalo Arts and Crafts. Now this one probably won't be as long as some of the others and I'm sure that's quite okay with anybody and everybody that stops in. I just put a video out on my other channel. I had acquired some new contenders to get juggaloed and this one actually is one of my favorites. <laughs> Out of the items that I have gotten so far. Um, it's got a good size space to it. I'm going to have a bit of a time with these frillies. Which is supposed to be the hair. But I'm confident that I can uh, I can get her done. Um, so yeah. Um, also, it's a piggy bank. Or a bank. So... This one will most definitely stay mine regardless, and I'll put it to you, so that was kind of cool. If you watch any of this on the replay, thank you very much. If you have any questions, feel free to stop where you are and uh, drop them in the comments as you're watching it. And, uh, yeah. So, again, this one wasn't planned. Most of my streams go live at night at 11 p.m. But on the weekends, I try to throw some random ones in there. Or I'm going to try to throw some random ones in there. So, we're going to... uh. Like I said, I'm not going to make this one super long. I just want to get the white base coat put on this face. And I think that will be fine for me for right now. I might even take a little power nap, something I used to never do. And then we're going to go catch some supper. I just got done getting my hair appointment, getting my dreads maintenanced and stuff, so... It's a good day, a good mood. I got a good deal on some of these items, and I figured why not. I think all of you could drop the Discord link in the chat once, and uh, my other channel. That'd be great, and then you don't have to hang out or nothing if you don't want I just want to have it there to be able to tell people, like, hey, here's this for <laughs> I also got some, uh, new brushes. There we go. Uh, any Juggalos watching, uh, Insane Lycan just dropped the Discord link to our Discord. We have, uh, grown to 160 homies in just four months. I am quite proud of it. It's for Juggalos, by Juggalos, but you don't even have to be a Juggalo. You can be Juggalo curious. And come check us out, as long as you ain't disrespectful. And if it's not for you, then that's cool. You can go on about your merry way.
I mean, I got pain on the eye already. Good thing for uh, paper towels and alcohol. And the bl best thing about acrylic paint is uh, it's actually pretty for forgiving overall. So once it dries, you have a couple options. You scrape it off, you paint over it, or you, you can even take a like some water alcohol rubbing alcohol on a pad or a napkin and kind of or a q-tip actually would work better and just kind of dab that stuff off so i'm not terribly worried i should have done better that was being kind of sloppy but i'm still not terribly worried about that Like I said, all I'm going to focus on for this piece right now in this stream is just getting a, a white base coat around it. I actually have another project I am working on that uh, trumps this one because it's a paying customer. But I get excited when I go out and about and find new contenders aka items, dolls, and whatnot to become my experiments. And I'd be messaging Precious, like, hey, what do you think about this? Do you think it's possible? Would you do it? How would you do it? Funny, last night Precious told me he dips paint out of his bottles, which makes sense. I had an issue, I had a dilemma. I had paint that I didn't want to waste left over. I wasn't sure what I was going to do with it, and uh, Precious is like, Hey, don't you got that wooden that needs some coats on it? And I'm like, dang it, you're right. But he saved me with it. Well, here I am again, pouring paint. But I got these new little tray things, I'm just gonna try to put accordingly the amount needed or whatever if I have to paint a couple of these up with the base paint that's what I'll do too just so that it's not to waste the paint crazy there's spy baby you guys uh hanging out or stopping by i haven't been looking up to check the chat if y'all put something in the chat i will definitely answer reply to any questions that you may have i'm not even sure i'm over here working because i didn't expect a lot of people to be in here um i'm just putting on a base coat right now so nothing special but it all goes towards the final prod product looking good so i am literally just a applying my first good thick base coat of white paint thank you very much for watching thank you very much for the likes for those of you that are watching if you're curious about our juggalo Discord, the link is in the comments please come check us out And I should have went live via StreamYard. 
because then I would have had some uh, melody, some music that I could have played and whatnot. But I probably wouldn't have got some of the randoms that pop in when you go live on mobile in a vertical format. Just hanging and watching while I'm packing. Where are you headed, freaky fish lady? And I appreciate it. Thank you very much. You said you like to do arts and crafts. I need to get you up on my stream as a special guest and we can do some arts and crafts together. That's the goal. I want to get a bunch of homies up here, or friends, and uh, we all be working on projects. And then people in the chat has multiple little, you know, things to look at and a change of scene so if one person's taking a little longer with what they're doing at that very given time there's other things for people to see and like i just think it'd be really fun and i need to get precious that that's who i need to get i need to get him up here doing his paintings i got this dude i'm trying to get to come work on his pants in my stream. His name's Skunks, and he makes the coolest, bizarre clothing. Like, anything he makes, or he wears, he makes. Like, he's not one for traditional clothing, because he ain't no traditional homie. Like, bizarre, but they're tight. And I, and I just told him today, I said, man, you need to come do a pair of those in my stream and he's like i might just do that gert cross what the heck is going on here well that all depends gert cross what what did you expect to see going on here did you happen to catch the title Doing a water change on my buy sure tank. Ah. Illinois school, that would be fun. Yeah, um, it would be. <clears throat> and I know some people are against it, but I don't do a whole lot of water changes anymore. I, uh, I do a whole lot of topping off. Obviously, if my parameters start going all wonkety, I'm not above it, but I just don't do a whole lot of water changes. Obviously, when starting a new tank, I will. You got to get it cycled. And I, I'll, I'll continue water changes. I, sh I shouldn't say that publicly on this stream because the wrong person might hear all the way up until my tanks are matured will I do a water change. But if it's not a huge bio load, there's a lot of plants, and I'm only losing, you know, half inch or something every week or two weeks, then I'll just top off my tanks. I won't do a full blow water change. Ah, <laughs> okay, well, um, thank you. That's what I mean. I needed a little more uh, clarification. We get a lot of trolls in here that would just say some off-the-wall stuff, and they won't even let nobody talk or, you know, get a word in edgewise. So I figured I would just, you know, see who you were and then go from there. So if you're still in here at this moment and can let me know in the chat, I can explain it to you. What kind of fish do you keep, Gert Cross?
And what's your thoughts on, uh, I'm so here, brother. And what's your thoughts on, uh, water changers versus topping off? They are in with the flower horn, no plants, and very messy. Oh, okay, yeah. So, I completely understand that. Okay, so, uh, Gert Cross. I, my channel is an aquatics channel. As you may or may not have checked out, I got like 600 videos on fish on my channel. I love the aquarium hobby, the tropical fish hobby. But I was born a juggalo. And if you go to my bio, it says juggalo fish keeper. So this is a uh, juggalo arts and crafts. And I paint juggalo face paints. You can kind of see over here on this uh, wooden. Um, you can't take this one too serious. I messed up the mouth. But, uh,. ICP, Insane Clown Posse, Juggalos, you may or may not know what it is. And uh, why do I do it? Well, because this is my culture. This is what I love. I enjoy it. It allows me to spend time with the homies and connect. And uh, occasionally I can sell some of these. I actually had somebody at work... Uh, pay me to start working on a skull. We done that stream last night. Oh, man. You're in a world of hurt, my friend. Uh, so I got a video on this channel if you would uh, honor me with uh, checking it out before you run away. Uh, you can either go on my channel in my videos and find it. You're going to literally see the What is a Juggalo? interview with Wiggles the Clown, or you can type that in YouTube search, what is a juggalo, interview with Wiggles the Clown, and it's my video, and I explain in it. Can you say hi to Zoe? Whoop whoop, what up Zoe? What do you think so far, my little painting, Zoe? <laughs> uh, they love Zoe. Thanks for stopping in. Um, I appreciate you. Are you a uh, are you juggalo or are you fish people? Are you just an arts and crafts person that found and seen live painting in the shorts? <laughs> Either way, I am grateful that you decided to stop by, even if it's just briefly to learn like Gert did and then ran away. Bros, bro, dolls freak me the heck out. <laughs> uh, they love Zoe. I sub to you. You sub to this channel? Do you like uh, fish? Or are you uh, more, uh, like, juggalo? Because I have started a new channel to try to get this content away from my fish channel. Like, I will continue going live on this channel for obvious reasons. It's bigger, you know, I reach more people... YouTube is my friend over here, whereas a new channel takes quite some time to grow and get to the level you need to be at to be able to go live. So until I get that other channel to grow, I will continue going live over here. And we, we go live almost every night. Maybe not always, but usually every night in between 11 p.m. and... 3 a.m. Eastern Time, chances are you can find me going live doing some Juggalo Arts and Crafts 
Rather, we are painting these. We're painting the wooden. I done my Juggalo jacket in this stream. You can catch uh, videos of that on this channel and on my other channel. So, yeah. yeah I got to go by. Well, thank you. This is how I know it's the weekend. So, I've only had one familiar face stop by so far. All my mods and stuff are out enjoying the weekend, and I'm not mad at them. I know Jimmy's at Juggalo Weekend. If he was on his phone right now, I would probably be mad at him. Like, that man's living it up over there in Texas right now. I am quite jelly. Emo! What up? Thank you so much for joining the Discord. You are awesome. I'm surprised you found me. That means you actually subscribed and got a notification or was just browsing and seen it because I don't recall sharing this in the Discord. I actually just went live to go live. Mam petty, mam petty, mam petty. Hello? That's a interesting name. But yeah, it it, it really warms my heart when I see people that like I know came from my stream. And stuff, and then they actually join the Discord, and I can be like, Hey, you did it! Is there anybody here? Uh, what do you mean? I'm not quite sure what you mean by is anybody here, but... Me and my little dollies here. What are you doing, bro? Long time no see. Bing Goslin, what up? Whoop whoop. So I am juggaloing this uh, piggy bank. If you like backtrack, you'll see it was just basic colored. And I'm putting on the first base coat of the white face paint. And then eventually it will get black, violent J, 
face paint done on it. What are you? I'm not sure if you know what a juggalo is, but uh, I have a video on my channel explaining that very thing. What is a juggalo? Interview with Wiggles the Clown. In fact, let me get a link and I'll drop it in. They'll put it near your fish? What do you mean I'll put it near my fish? Oh, are you talking about the content? Well, I'm a juggalo and my bio says juggalo fish keeper. So Insane Lichen just dropped the video explaining what is a Juggalo. Be back later. Got to monitor for another channel. Have fun. Yeah, no doubt. And if you keep showing up, you're going to become a mod for mine. So you're going to be a fishy Juggalo nerd. Freaky fish lady, I'm not sure if you're still listening. I'm not sure how long I'm going to be live this time. And I might go live later tonight. Like, this has became fun to me. I do need to get working on my paid commission. But I just got these dolls today, and I like this one. This one's going to become my personal unless somebody offers the right price for it. So I wanted to go ahead and get a good base coat put on it. <laughs> oh, you know? Yeah, they're, they're good. Uh, I, I've been on the works, okay? So you can uh, you can use some uh, polyurethane, and you can coat certain things to make them um, fish tank safe. And boy, would I love to turn my 135 cichlid tank in, like, into a juggalo world. Like, decorated with Juggalo theme stuff. That would be cool. Obviously, these dudes with fur and stuff, I'm not, <laughs> it can't go in the tank. But the solid glass ones, I might have to look into doing that. Give me one minute, guys. I'm just trying to share this out into the Discord. See if I can't get a few people, other people to, uh... But yeah, so uh, sorry about that. I did uh, go ahead and share that out. But um, watching WWE pay-per-view. What? Emo, you need to screen share that. 
in the Discord. I'm going to stop this live stream and watch a pay-per-view with you. I bet people in there would be static. I bet that's what a lot of people are doing then. Does it start right now, or has it already went, and you're watching a recorded thing, or... Whoop, whoop. There we go. Getting a homie up in this junt. What up, fam? We just put in a base coat on this. And then we're going to add some Violent J face paint on this junt. I don't know if that's going to go on in this stream, but we're at least going to get the base code on her. I appreciate you stopping by. What is your favorite WWE wrestler? Are we talking uh, current or retired or even deceased? Israel Davids, hello, and uh, thank you for stopping by my Juggalo Arts and Crafts stream. Hey, uh, Ann Arco Clown Artrist, I can't pronounce your shit, homie. Uh, you should join our Discord. The link is up above in the chat. So, like, uh... Passed away like Andre the Giant, Chris Benoit, uh, technically retired Undertaker, and Shawn Michaels. Currently still wrestling? Hmm. Really? I'm not sure. Does Cena still wrestle? <laughs> That's how de-attached I am from it. I haven't watched in a while. When I tell you, aside from a little mess up on the eye, here, this thing looks pretty dang good. If y'all can smash that like button, it would mean the world to me. I appreciate those that have hit the like button already. It's very little cost to you. Just the swift of your hand. And uh, it does a whole lot for me. Because YouTube runs that through the algorithm. And is like, huh, somebody likes this. Let me push this video out. So just maybe we can get some more homies in here. Mm. 
Okay, I'm gonna break. I'm gonna have to break out the fine toothbrush. That's where I messed up. I should have used it there. My favorite will always be Eddie Guerrero. <laughs> yes. Eddie and Rey Mysterio. They were pretty dope, man. Which Ray still wrestles a little, right? His son's in there, and he teamed up with, oh, whatever those D-bags were. And, like, I watched a recent match, I don't know, Thanksgiving. My homie watches. He's probably watching right now if there's a pay-per-view. But I just don't have cable. I definitely ain't paying for pay-per-view. I got some more paint to waste, and even though the crowd ain't popping, I might just go ahead and get a base coat on this lady, too. I don't think I'm going to do anything to the baby. That's a really tight space. We shall see. I'm actually probably going to erase her eyebrows, because otherwise I'm not going to be able to put my arches on it later on. But we'll go ahead and put a little base coat on this one too and I have some touching up to do on my wooden over there before I can uh finish putting the smile around it so that's how I might end up wasting some paint This is a real tiny face, for sure. What about Stone Cold Steve Austin? I like some Stone Cold Steve Austin. Uh, I mean, the list can go on. So when I watch Devotedly, like my go-to is John Cena, The Rock, Undertaker, Batista... HBK, which... I already said, Shawn Michaels, Triple H, I need to break out a tiny brush, I am gonna mess up horribly. I tell you what, here's a he was a heel, not a face. But, uh, did you like, um, the great Kali? Or, uh, oh, Kane, yeah. Um, uh, another, uh, 
I don't know. I don't even know what you'd call him. You didn't see him wrestle a whole, whole lot. But uh, his name is uh, Hornswoggle. He's a little person. He's a little leprechaun dude. So I messed up, I got on the eye of this, and I gotta wipe it off and re... There wasn't no need to get that messy. So, uh, what's the big matches tonight, Emo? That's got to be, really. I can't imagine being y'all and uh, you literally see my channel as fish and then the stream I'm sitting here doing some painting and stuff. Y'all's reactions actually make sense. <laughs> like, what is this? It's got to be good for uh, retention at least for a minute. I wonder if Precious uh, pre-paints his bases on any of his. Be dope if I could listen to some ICP music while doing this. Down with the sickness used to be one of my favorite fight songs. <clears throat> that embodies. Nothing 
I think I'm trying to get that tiny. It would go a long way though to paint the baby too. Emo, do you have a favorite uh, ICP song? I need to try to start a poll. He said, favorites, not just one, favorites. I hear you, dude. I got favorite albums. But then there's albums I don't mess with because they just, I don't know, they weren't for me. You ain't got to like every song. There ain't some rule or something. I have so much white paint here. And before I go paint on that wooden, I'd rather uh, get some base coats down with this. I'd say if I had to pick one favorite off the top of my head just instantly, it'd be how many times. That is my jam. How many times will you honk your horn and say, you, what the f does that do? You feel better now? I didn't let you pass. How about I stop my car and beat your, and blah. <laughs> Gotta try to censor it on here. Okay, so for now, we got our base coat. We got our base coat on this dude. And on this chick. So, I think I'm going to go ahead and add a base coat on this dolly. And maybe this precious moments. And see how much of that paint this uses. And then I might waste the rest of it on that wooden for now. And then uh, I'll probably end this stream. I might go live later tonight as well after I get home from supper. But I don't know. It just depends how I'm feeling and whatnot. I'd like to give a shout out to Emo. He 
they, I'm going to say they because I, I don't want to assume your gender. I know you told me the other day and I kind of forgot. But they have been showing up to my stream regularly. So, shout out to them. I appreciate you. So before, I don't know if you get that, there it is, it's a better view. This little piece is tedious. Did somebody forget to turn the stream off? What do you mean, turn the stream off? I discovered Twisted, that game, Backyard Wrestling, Don't Try This at Home, and that song was We Don't Die by Twisted. See, that's what I hate, because that's one of my favorite songs by... Twisted ICP, and since the separation, like, I don't listen to Twisted's new stuff, but the old jams, you best believe if it comes on, I'm gonna listen to it. I'm not gonna skip it, because we don't die and uh, duck the blank down. Those songs beat. They hit. And they're good. Like, Homies. Homies is the song by ICP. And Jamie and Twi Twist and Mad Rocks, they're, they're all in it. Like, it's, it's crazy. Oh, yeah, I'm just, I'm just going on. I didn't initially share the stream in, uh, anywhere. I just wanted to go live randomly and see what turned out. Because really, I feel like I'm forcing it in y'all's faces. 
you know, like, here, self-promote, here, here, come watch me, come watch me. So, like I told you earlier, I was, uh, well, I didn't, I don't know that I said it, but I'm sure you could gather. I got some goodies, as you see, and there's more, and uh, I was excited to just kind of do some stuff. So, I figured I could at least apply some of the white base coats, and I do like how this one turned out. Pretty good. This is going to be one of my personal favorites. It's a piggy bank. So I'm like going to keep this. Somebody better offer me good money for it when it's done for me to let go of it. But I figured I could uh, get some base coats on for during the week when I start my streams. People that don't want to see the boring stuff. They want to jump in and see the fine tuning putting the actual clown paints on. So I figured I'd uh, try to get a few base coats on, waste some paint. I got some new some new brushes. They're cheap, but you know, they have their versions of nice ones, but these ain't the ones that I uh have coming. Like there's a couple of these with some really good tips. This tip that I'm using right now, you obviously can't even really see it, but it's working wonders precious for this little guy. That will be a good one. What, the piggy bank? It just has a nice, full, round face. Like, I feel like I shouldn't have issues making the markings on that one and make them stand out and look good. Now, this one in my hand, it's so tiny. I don't know what I was thinking, but... I'm already committed. I hope I have a real tiny brush to put just like a little dot above the eye and below the eye and just give a little arch. How often did you go live, Precious, and not really have anybody in your stream? I was thinking of you earlier, <laughs> ironically, and it hasn't been nobody. I've had a couple homies come in here. I had somebody new, and they said they subbed, so that's cool. Hopefully, one of them will join the Discord, but I'm just saying, like, how often do you go into your stream, like, I don't know, expecting or wanting people to show up and... Like, they don't, or the turnout ain't what you wanted. And then, does it discourage you, or do you just go on streaming and uh, finish what you're working on? That's what I mean. People can be in here. They don't have to be in here. I need these base coats done for me, regardless, because it will make my future streams easier. I'll only have to work on focusing on the actual face paint designs and such like that, so. And it's funny, I, I mentioned you earlier too, uh, so you said you uh, dip out of uh, the paint container, and uh, today... I couldn't pass it up, though. There's, like, a three-pack of these, uh, and they're different sizes. I got this little six-dill and then, like, the little half-wheels. I got a small one and a big one for, like, three bucks. I'm like, man, I can't pass that up. So that kind of cracked me up, too. Oh, my God, and I got this other one. I don't know if you've seen it when I sent the picture, but I don't know how I'm going to juggalo it. I just kind of liked it and figured I'd give it a try, but they are tiny faces precious like tiny i might break them out now that i'm starting to get a little bit of a crowd in here and it you know boosts some morale i might base coat everything that i bought today and then later tonight we might do a stream and actually apply some paints but maybe not i might take it easy just watch some movies I got my little short out on the new channel. I done good this whole time. And now, because I'm talking, I just got paint on the freaking eye. Urgh. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. That's what I mean. I figured there's reason. But see, I can't break my video down like you because you use OSB. So I got to figure out how to do that. I might have to do screen record or something like that. I'm actually gonna color in these eyes and I'm gonna have to like recolor them in and position them. Wow, I'm so behind. Nothing much pressure, it's just listening to this dude. I'm listening to my buddy Corey Brandon on Spotify. What's a capture card? So YouTube allows me to highlight, I can like screen record like five minute increments and turn them into videos if I think it's worthwhile. But... That's what I need to be doing, listening to something with an earbud off of her tablet or something. We might need a fatter brush for this doll. That might take quite some time. I will use this as an edger though, just to get the base from around the hair. I was thinking about how you said juggle it in the clothes. I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna do. Rip it up, taper it, add a patch, maybe make it look like blood or something crazy has happened to it. I don't know yet. Like a hard drive that instantly downloads my camera signal before it goes into OBS. Gives me clean copies of my stream without any compressed or overlays. Ah, uh, okay, it's giving you like that 4K. I get it, that's dope. I need to get a computer, man. I need to start streaming like real people do instead of on my phone, but... I'm poor and yeah. <laughs> Me and uh, Nicole was just talking about that. Once we get some stuff paid off, she said, and I'm surprised she said it to me. She's like, you need to get you a laptop at least. And for the longest time, I'm like, well, I don't need no laptop. I got my phone and you got your iPad. But the more I get into the whole online and live streaming and social media and stuff i mean a decent computer or at least a decent laptop and some basic internet could go a long way sorry y'all it's just easier to hold this doll i'm not i ain't got her i can't put her on camera and not get her face all messed up and pain in her hair so just bear with me
alternative country? What's that? Is that like Christian country? I don't know. I guess alternative rock is softer rock. But how can country get any softer? I'm so lonesome for you. <laughs> I'm gonna do this fine tuning and then get a bigger brush. Oh, nope, like country with a little punk edge. Alright, that's different. So this doll is one of those dolls that uh, her eyelashes close in the wrong in a downward position or you gotta like hold her just right for them to be open and this is kind of tricky to get up close and nice and then you gotta like make sure she keeps her eyes open until it dries or i'm gonna get this white and her eyelashes but doing so prevents me from getting Behind her upper eyelashes. Yeah, I guess it doesn't quite touch down. We're gonna get them gents. We're gonna tickle the inside of her eye. Tricky, tricky, that one. I'm so Precious, have you uh, shared your buddy's videos or songs in the Discord? I'm not one for country, man. Like, I got my favorite country singer. And I'll listen to, you know, a handful of songs and whatnot, but it's definitely not what I call enjoying music, <laughs> per se. Usually I'm in my feels when I'm listening to country. Which I can be in my feels listening to anything, for that matter. Wiggles can be a very emotional person if you haven't gathered already. This doll is going to look more creepier than she already did. Just being a regular doll. <laughs> and Precious, if you're listening, I might still get that uh, two-foot doll that I showed you. Or it's They said it was like 22 inches or something. And it's got a small face too, but... I think it'd be kind of cool to do, you know. I'm trying to find unique and different. I don't necessarily, like, and I don't assume you feel this way, but I'm not trying to cramp your style, man, you know what I'm saying? That's why, like, the skull, that was something different. That's why I'm like, you know what, Kurt? I will do that because it kind of got away from your thing. See, now you're going to make me listen to some country. 
Aw, thanks, Precious. The stream's gonna die if I don't plug in this cord. <laughs> I just noticed that. So bear with me for a minute, folks. 